Hi guys, it's Abby here from First Fruits with some uh, new market news. Um, today we're going to be looking at pomelos. Now pomelos are uh, native to Malaysia and they are the ancestor of the citrus. So they're a very big fruit. Um, they're much bigger than a, this is a, um, a ruby red grapefruit. So you can see the difference in size there. Um, now ruby red are actually uh, the result of a cross between a pomelo and an orange. So, and then you've got tangellos, which are the cross between a tangerine and a pomelo. So it has a strong influence in uh, modern citrus. Um, so it's very big. It um, has a, a thick, very thick rind. There's a big knife for it today. So now this is a pink flesh. It comes in pink and white flesh, but we've just got the pink flesh at the moment. They're, they're more popular and they're really tasty. So you can see how thick the rind is. So what you want to do when you um, prepare it, you want to actually remove that. And you also, when you eat it, it's got a few seeds. So you take the seeds out, take the seeds out there. And also when you eat it, you don't want to eat any of the, um, the white membrane. So any of the, um, those different little bits in there, you just want to sort of take that centerpiece out and that's the sweet part. So they're really delicious, they're really popular in Thailand. One of our staff has been um, chasing us up about when we're going to get them because he uh, grew up in Thailand and he loves them. So um, he's given us a bit of info on those. So that's the, the pink flesh pomelo. So um, if you want to check that out. And uh, then we've also got uh, new from the market, these beautiful purple artichokes. Um, now with these artichokes, they are, they're really high in folate, vitamin C, um, and they're also uh, very good for your digestive system, for your liver. Um, to prepare them, um, what you need to do is to cut them up. You can actually also eat the stem, and you can see here, I don't know if you can see that, but the centre part is what you can eat. So um, you can just chop the stem up into pieces. And you can um, cook artichokes by steaming them, boiling them, even microwaving. So you can boil that up as well. And you cut about three centimetres off of the end, if I can. It's quite um, hard when it's not cooked. So you can see there the different layers of it. And um, then you just get the scissors and cut the ends off. And you can just boil it up. And once you've boiled it up, you can cut it in half. It's, it goes really soft. And there's a, a piece in the middle called the choke that you remove as well. And you can do that before or after. If you want to stuff them, you cut a bit more. You better cut about half off the end um, to stuff them. And then you can, eat, you can eat the leaves or you can um, just eat the heart. So, and they're great in so many different things as a side dish on pizzas, in pasta, in salads. You can put them in dips. Um, they're really, really yummy. And these are um, beautiful and fresh. So that's the, um, the Globe Artichoke. And then also we've got some new products as well that we've just got in. Um, we've got uh, Flurio yogurt now. I don't know um, if you've tried the Flurio milk range that we have, um, but we've got yogurt now. It comes in a 500 gram pack and a 250, and it comes in mango, mixed berry, passion fruit, and honey flavors. Um, so that's got, and it's got 95% uh, fat free and um, all natural ingredients. So that's just another, another yogurt that we now have in range. And also the Sweet William chocolates. Now these are dairy free, gluten free, lactose free, and cholesterol free. So um, they're, they're all, all Australian made and um, they're really yummy and I've got the, um, the terrible job of having to taste test these things. So I um, might just give it a go. Um, the yummy taste without the guilt. So check it out. Have a great week and keep um, some good feedback onto Facebook is great and any recipes that you might want to con contribute. We appreciate all your feedback. Thanks, bye.